Take me to the people, take me to the street. Take me to the people, take me to the street. Story, story telling time. Story now, story telling time. Ay, 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 ay. I heard the voice and it just grabbed me and picked me up and just set me down again and I couldn't move and I was mesmerized by the sound of cowbells. Linda, Linda loves people and she, she loves children. She, she embodies this spirit of people coming together and working for justice. She just, I mean, she walks into a room and she, she rings her bells and she sings and she speaks out. You heard those nice stories that were tucked away that were entertaining, but you didn't hear the stories that came out and allowed you to stand up, you know? And those are stories that she helped me understand the power. And she said that if nobody tells your story, then you got to tell it yourself. Spread our wings, we've got to do our own things. We've got to believe in ourselves. We've got to fall. I'd always been a storyteller. That was my way of surviving in a family of nine children. But until I heard her on the stage, I didn't know the importance of storytelling. She came out with those bells, and I sat there. I was mesmerized. I was like, oh my gosh, my grandfather has bells like that up in the attic. One of the first things I was told when I um, joined Keepers of the Culture and expressed my interest in honing my craft as a storyteller was that I had to go get the book, Talk That Talk. Everybody says that. And you may have heard it referred to as the storyteller's Bible. So I went and got that and then um, just lost myself in that book that she edited. And it just was a collection of all that we are in story and, and not that many pages though. That was so profound. And when I finally uh, met Linda, um, one of the mothers in the circle, and she's always taking me into her bosom. Come gather around my people. I have a story to tell about this little friend of mine who isn't very well. That as a storyteller, I have a responsibility. And she's always holding me to that bar. And I thank her. I thank her for all that she is for us. She's a wonderful elder. Wake up, fill yourself here. Wake up, Billy. Really?